Hello, and welcome to today's Open Dental webinar. We're going to cover how to set up schedules and operatories after conversion when providers share or alternate operatories throughout the day or throughout the week. If your operatories are assigned to each provider, go ahead and see the video linked in the description below, as their setup is a little bit different. Today, we're going to go over how to set up operatories, the benefits of setting up schedules in Open Dental, how to set up those schedules, how to use the Update Provider on Future Appointments tool, and what treating provider assignment looks like when we're creating new appointments. So, we'll go ahead and start with how to set up operatories. This will be found in Setup, Appointments, and Operatories. And then from here, you'll see a couple of different tools. The first one we're going to look at is the Combine tool. We can use this to combine multiple operatories that are duplicates. So I can highlight both or use my control key to select multiple. And then I can use the combine button, which will let us know that all appointments in those operatories will be affected. The next window that pops up will let us choose which operatory we want to keep. There is no way to delete operatories in Open Dental, so the operatory we don't select will simply be hidden. And all appointments in those operatories will be merged into the one that we decide to keep here. Now, if appointments are scheduled in both operatories but do not overlap, it will simply move those operatories or those appointments to the operatory we'd like to keep. However, if appointments are scheduled in both operatories and they do overlap, there's a preference in Open Dental that will either hinder us or let us proceed. If we allow overlapping appointments, it will simply move those appointments into the operatory we'd like to keep without any further prompting. However, if we do not want to allow appointments to overlap, we're going to come into Setup and Preferences, under Appointment General, and we're going to uncheck the Appointments Allow Overlap option. And then we'll go back into our Appointment Operatory Setup highlight the operatories we want to combine, select the one we'd like to keep, and then hit OK. And this will let us know if there are any overlapping appointments that they cannot merge the operatories due to those conflicts. Then we can hit OK to see which appointments conflict. We can even print this list out if we need to. So we need to go ahead and move those appointments manually in order to merge those operatories. I can simply navigate to the day move it either to another operatory or a different time. And then I can safely go back into our operatory setup and combine those operatories. And then it's gonna give us a warning that it's going to move all of those appointments that are in the current operatories into the one we'd like to keep. Now this warning is very important this is going to let us know we cannot undo this. Anytime we make some changes like this, especially ones that affect a lot of appointments, it's always best to make a backup of the database first. Because again, if we needed to undo those changes, we'd have to manually unhide the operatory and move the appointments ourselves. If we're safe to proceed, we can go ahead and hit yes. And it'll let us know that all of the appointments were merged into this operatory and the other one, you'll notice, gets marked as hidden. From here, we can use the up and down tools to reorder these appointments or these operatories. We want to get this one out of the way. And then we can even add new ones if we need to. The op name will be what displays at the top of the operatory. And you can also add set up an operatory abbreviation with a maximum of five characters. This is the is hidden checkbox that will hide the operatory, since again, we cannot delete them. Now, the provider and hygienist drop down, since your providers and hygienists will be sharing operatories or alternating operatories, we're going to leave these set to none. We're going to instead assign these when we set up the schedule. If this is a hygiene op, we can mark it as hygiene. That will make sure that the hygienist is considered as the main provider for that operatory. And it will also make it so that the hygienist's color is the one that displays on the appointment.
If we use the Set Perspective checkbox, this will prompt us to change the patient statuses that are scheduled in this operatory to Perspective. This can be useful for tentative appointments for patients who have not been seen in the office previously, and we'll go over what that looks like in a little bit. You'll also notice some web sketch settings. The Open Dental offers additional e-services to integrate with your practice, including these web sketch services that allow you to set up specific operatories for patients to schedule it online. And more information on that can be found in the description below. The last one you'll see here when we're adding a new operatory is the op type. These are informational only, but you can set up different types of operatories in definitions. Now we've got our new operatory, we're going to go ahead and make sure that all of our other operatories are set up appropriately. Since we don't want to set a hygienist or a provider here, we're going to set that up in the schedule. Additionally, some practices keep an additional operatory on the schedule for note-keeping or overflow appointments. Just like your other operatories, we're not going to assign a provider or a hygienist to these, since they will be mostly informational. You may also notice, after a conversion, an unassigned operatory. This occasionally happens, when the conversion does not know where to place certain appointments. So if we go up to Reports, User Query Favorites, we can run this conversion, Future Appointments by Operatory, which will automatically look at any appointments in that operatory and tell us which ones need to be moved. From here, again, we can print this out or export it, and we'll just need to manually move those appointments out of that operatory and wherever they should be. From here, we can go back and hide that operatory if we need to, or we can reutilize it for another purpose. Now you'll notice that some of our operatories that we just created are not displayed right away. What we need to make sure we do is go into Setup, Appointments, and Appointment Views to assign them to the view we are currently looking at. We can simply highlight all of the operatories we want to display here, and then after we refresh, those will show up for us. Now we're going to look at some of the benefits of setting up a schedule in Open Dental. This will make sure that provider assignment is accurate on appointments. It helps in eliminating errors and assigning the production to the correct provider. And allows also for simple and quick recall scheduling. Please note, if you do not set up schedules, the Make Recall and Make Faily Recall buttons will not function as expected. Additionally, it allows you to use the pen word search to search for specific providers and times. So we can search for a specific date after, or maybe certain times before, or certain times after. And we can even look at specific providers. Additionally, if you are using or want to start using any of the WebSketch e-services, schedules are required to be set up for that service to function. So let's take a look at how to set up those schedules. We're going to go up to Setup and Schedules. And you'll notice right away that our Today is highlighted in red. And we've got some filters here to look at. If we only want to look at a certain date range, we can do so here. We can decide whether practice holidays and notes are showing up. And if you ever work on weekends, we can navigate to the full week to view all of the days of the week. Or if you want to only edit weekends, we can use the weekend button and filter back and forth. If you did have a schedule set up and you want to clear the week, you can use the clear week to quickly delete all of the schedules in that week. From here, we can start setting up our schedule. It's often easiest to start with a Monday, but we'll start with today. We can double click on the day we want to edit. And then from here, we're going to select the provider we want to schedule and use the Add button. Now this part is going to be very important. We want to make sure we're assigning them or scheduling them in a specific operatory. Additionally, if you utilize the hourly production goals, you'll want to make sure that you schedule their break times as well. 
This will make it so that the production goals are not inflated for your provider. So we'll go ahead and set up our time start and stop time for this provider and decide which operatories they're going to be scheduling. And we'll save that. And we can set up their second stop and start time for after their break. And then from here, we'll just go ahead and go through each of our providers and get them set up with a schedule. Once we're done setting up the day, we can use the left and right arrows to move back and forth between days, or we can simply save and move on to our next day. Now, if you have a fairly simple schedule, you can also copy and paste it out to as many days as this applies for. So if this is the same schedule for every day of the week, I can go ahead and hit copy, and I'm going to paste it out to our next Monday. I can even repeat this as many times as I'd like if I want to replace the whole week. This will let us know it's going to replace the schedule for all of those providers. And if they don't have schedules, or that they do, it will have their schedules replaced wherever we paste them. And then we've got that schedule pasted onto the next week. From here, again, if our schedule is the same moving forward, I can actually copy an entire week and paste that out as many times as I'd like. From here, it may be a good idea to pause for a moment and move to setting up the holidays, as the pasting will ignore holidays whenever they're set up. So I can go ahead and go to the next day that has a holiday, and use the holiday button. And any of the other ones that need to be set up. Then if I'm ready, I can go ahead and copy our week, move to our next Monday, and paste it out as many times as I'd like. Well, let us know, hey, it's going to skip those holidays that we set up. So if we needed to create a schedule for those days, we'd have to do so manually. Now, if you did miss a holiday, all you have to do is find the day that you need to set up. Go ahead and double click on it highlight all of the schedules for that day, and simply delete them. And then you can add your holiday note. Now, if your schedule isn't quite as simple as this one, we do have a schedule setup example manual page linked in the description below that can have some examples of how to set up schedule scenarios. Additionally, once you close the schedule and refresh, you'll notice that our operatories have white spaces in them wherever a provider is scheduled now. This makes it nice and easy to tell when we have available times for our providers. You'll notice additionally that any holidays are marked in a different color. Makes it nice and obvious that we are closed on that day. Next, we're going to take a look at the Update Providers on Future Appointments tool, found in Setup Appointments and Operatories, and by double-clicking an existing operatory. After a final conversion, future hygiene appointments may have the hygienist assigned as the primary provider. Once providers and operatories are set up, you should use this tool to update providers to match the operatory providers, or the scheduled providers. If there is no provider scheduled, it would use the provider updated, would update the provider to the operatory provider, which does not quite apply in our scenario since we are not utilizing that feature. However, if there is a provider scheduled in the operatory, it's going to update the appointment to that scheduled provider, which is exactly what we want. 
If there is no provider assigned to the op or scheduled in the op, the provider is not updated. Now keep in mind, before running this tool, make sure that the providers are assigned to the correct operatories in our setup and schedules. Additionally, you want to make sure to make a backup of the database and even run this tool after hours. If we were to try to utilize this, it'll also warn us to do that same thing. It is one of those changes that cannot be reversed, except by manually changing the appointments ourselves. And again, it can take a long time to run and should often be run after hours as it will affect hundreds of appointments potentially. If we're okay with continuing, we've already made our backup and we're running this after hours, we can go ahead and hit yes. It'll simply let us know when it's done. Next, we're gonna take a look at how the treating provider is assigned to procedures when we're scheduling new appointments. The first thing it's gonna take a look at is the procedure code itself. If we navigate to lists and procedure codes and we have a specific procedure that is always done by the same provider, we can assign that procedure to that provider so that it always assigns it to them whenever it's set complete. The next thing that it's going to look at is when we're creating an appointment, the provider that is manually selected on that appointment using the drop down in the middle here. If we did not, Select a provider manually using the drop-down. It's going to look at the provider with a schedule in the operatory that the appointment is scheduled in. The next thing it's going to look at is the default provider for that operatory that is assigned. In our case, that will never be an option since we don't have providers assigned to operatories. If there is no scheduled provider in the operatory that the appointment is scheduled in and no default operatory provider, so if we try to create it here, for example, the appointment will default to the appointments, the patient's primary provider indicated on their patient information. This can be found by double clicking this section in the family module and utilizing the drop down for primary provider. You can also set a secondary provider here as well. Which brings us to our hygiene operatory assignments. Just like our primary providers in a hygiene operatory when we're creating an appointment, it's going to default to the hygienist that is scheduled in the operatory. The next thing it's going to look at if there is no hygienist scheduled in the operatory depends on a preference in Open Dental. By default, the preference will say if the patient has a secondary provider indicated on their account, we're going to use that provider there. Now, the preference will be found in Setup, Preferences, and it's under Appointment Appearance. And it's this Force Ops Hygiene Provider as Secondary Provider. This will mean if there is no provider, no hygienist, scheduled in that operatory, and the operatory has no hygienist assigned, it will not assign a hygienist to the appointment. And then you'll notice the provider on the appointment will still be the patient's primary provider if there is no other scheduled or assigned provider. Thank you for joining us for today's scheduled and operatory setup after a conversion, and we'll see you next time. Thank you for joining us for today's webinar. If you have any additional questions, please contact our support line at 503-363-5432 or access our complete online manual at opendental.com. And make sure you're staying up to date on our latest training videos by subscribing to our channel and turning on notifications.